Hello, Paul Beatty here from Firewalls.com. In this video, I'll show you how to create an SSL VPN connection. This will allow employees to connect to the local network from a remote location. They'll be able to make this connection by using a software client, either NetExtender or Mobile Connect. The first thing that we need to do to set up the SSL VPN connection will be to go into our main WAN. From here, we'll want to make sure we have HTTPS enabled for the user login. If it's not enabled already, you'll need to check that and go to OK. The next step, we'll need to go to SSL VPN. And then we'll choose Server Settings, and we'll want to enable the WAN. There are other settings that can be changed here, including the SSL VPN port number, if you'd like to add additional security by changing the port. And you can also create a different domain. For now, we'll leave these as the default settings. Once that's set up, we can go to the client settings. And then we will configure the settings here. For the network address IPv4 range, we'll want to set the range of the network. We can go to create a new network here. And since I already have a couple ranges set up, I'll call this one VPN range 3. And then we can set the range of our local network. For the client routes, we'll give them access to the LAN subnets. We can also enable tunnel all mode. By enabling tunnel all mode, it will send all traffic through our local network behind the firewall. It's best to leave this disabled. That way local traffic that they generate from their home computer, such as web browsing, will go through their own network connection. Next we'll move to client settings. Here the one thing you'll need to make sure you do is for the create client connection profile, you'll want to enable this. It's usually best to prohibit saving of username and password in this section also. Once all the settings are done and we press OK, we'll need to set up for each individual local user. I already have a couple users created here. We'll go ahead and go to the one titled user. For user, we'll want to go to the groups and make sure they're a member of the SSL VPN services group. Once they're in that group, we'll also want to go to VPN access. For VPN access, we will give them access to the LAN subnets. We could also limit this to if you only want to give them access to an individual machine, you could just add that host in here. The last section is the bookmark section. In the bookmark section, we can create individual bookmarks so if there's a machine that they need to remote desktop into, it'll be easy to add the bookmark in here. We'll have to press OK first before it will give us that option though. And now when we go in here, it will give us the Add Bookmarks section and we can create a remote desktop connection if we need to. And that concludes these steps for setting up an SSL VPN connection. Thank you for watching.